The Tony Snow Award was created in honor of Tony Snow, former syndicated radio broadcaster, newspaper reporter, Fox TV news anchor, and White House press secretary. Tony utilized his visibility and resources to help raise awareness and support for Wounded Warrior Project, even throughout his own battle with cancer, a battle that ultimately claimed his life in 2008. The recipient of the Tony Snow Award is someone who, through his or her work in the public eye, has made a significant difference in the lives of injured servicemen and women, and who has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to Wounded Warrior Project. My name is Andrew Coglin. I served in the United States Army as an infantryman with the 10th Mountain Division. Served in Iraq from 2003 to 2004. Here I am, a, a guy, a broken soldier, um, struggling with PTSD. You know, we're, we're bound and determined if, if, if there's a wounded warrior out there that needs some assistance and we can help by having him or her and their family attend a game, we want to try and do it. I'm a diehard Michigan fan, so just going to the game alone would have been cool enough with me, you know, but um, going there and being able to hang out with, with, with warriors that, that I never met until game day, you know. I've been involved with the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics since 1994, and after we met with the leadership of Wounded Warrior Project when they wanted to bring us aboard as an agency, I called Bob Vecchioni, who at the time was the Assistant Executive Director, and I said, just listen to me, don't say anything till I'm done talking. I want to get you involved with something. You're not going to make a nickel on it. I need your clout, and it's certainly the right thing to do. It was amazing to see all these people rallying around not only us, but the institution for supporting us. They walked us through, we got to meet the players, go in the locker room, and then at halftime they brought all of us out in the middle of the court, and they introduced us all, gave us each a game ball. The, the referee um, gave me the coin. It was a special uh, NACTA Wounded Warrior coin. That kind of added a, a little extra to the day. So not only do we make sure that they're part of the game by talking to the actual uh, sports teams, but we make sure they're in the stands and hanging with some of their buddies and a lot of them going through some certain, certain things like PTSD. The first time they actually met people from their own areas were at these games and they develop long-lasting relationships from it. The Warriors and I, you know, we, we're sharing stories and I, our wives and our, our, our family members are, are sitting right there. Um, so I remember that, that car ride home and Ashley turned and looked at me and she said, how come you've never told me any of these stories? You know, but it was, um, that, that kind of, Gave her a little glimpse of, of the struggles. It was really, it just really, really hit you that people actually get up and appreciate the fact that you did something for them, for the country. So it's, it's really heartwarming. It's one of the best things NACT has ever done and Wounded Warrior Project has become a part of our fabric of the association. It makes me feel like everything that I sacrificed and the people that I fought with sacrificed was actually for something good. When you come home and you see that these people actually do appreciate your service, they do appreciate everything that you went through, and it makes me feel real good. The, the, the path that, that I was on, um, it, it wasn't a very good one. I, I mean, I, it, I could very easily say that I would be dead or in jail. The one thing I, I will say of the NACTA team is, you guys helped save my life. You guys helped me in my transition home. How do you say thank you to somebody that saves their life? I, I, I mean, thank you is not enough it, it, in my eyes. NACTA giving me that, that opportunity and that, that experience, um, it, it was unbelievable. Thank you.